What's going on, Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy, and wow, three weeks in a row already. We're back with our How to Build a Paid Membership website in Wix mini series, and today I'll be discussing a third edition of two things that are inevitable in life. First, you have death, then you have taxes, and now we're going to add a third, which is people will ask to cancel your membership on their on your site at some point in time. I know it sucks. I know you don't want that to happen, but I got to show you how to deal with it and handle it if that does happen. So that's what we're going to discuss in today's video. Real quick reminder, first off, if you're just joining us here on the channel, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click that subscribe button, turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any content, especially this series every Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. MST, and you'll instantly join the largest Wix training community on the internet. One new reminder is I just launched a Facebook group for freelance web design and developers for this community and abroad. So if you are a freelance web designer developer, I want you to click the link in the description below and go join that Facebook group to learn how to grow your business either into an agency or a bigger freelancer. I'm going to give you the tips, tip, uh, tips, tricks, strategies that I personally use to take my web development agency from zero to $210,000 in revenue in the first year alone. I want you to be a part of it. And I know not everybody here on the channel is that freelance web design and developer, which is exactly why I wanted to create a separate place so that way. I don't bar bombard all of you with all this different content related to specifically that. I want to keep it on Wix and keep you educated with Wix because that's what we're here to do. In fact, that's what we're doing right now. Let's jump in. Okay, so in the unlikely, not really, scenario that someone asks to cancel their membership on your site, here's what you have to do. The reason I'm addressing this right now is because it's a very popular question in the series, which is how do I manage cancellations? First and foremost, in order for someone to cancel on your site, at the moment there's no automated way for them to go into their account and cancel their subscription. There's no way for them to do that right now unless they canceled it from their uh, credit card processor and disputed your merchant account, which is not what you want to have happen whatsoever. So what you have to make sure is you have a very clear cancellation policy and you spell out exactly how to do it. The easiest way I have found to do it is create a cancellation form. So create a button in uh, the person's member account that says cancel my account and then that button will take them to a form that you build out and essentially what you can do from that point is you can have them submit their name their email their phone number and maybe reason for cancellation and then have them press submit so that way whenever someone does attempt to cancel their account Here's the good news. You get to collect exactly why they're canceling, right? Because they're going to write a reason in, or maybe you can have a drop down with some pre populated choices of XYZ and give them some pre populated choices of canceling. I'm not going to show you how to do that because that's very straightforward. And I'm going to touch on that in our next video where we're actually going to start building out the member section. So I'll so show you how to add that cancellation feature. Since we don't already have it built out, I'm not going to show you it yet. But what I am going to show you is once you do receive that request for cancellation, here's how you're going to have to manage that. So you'll come here to your Wix dashboard, to your website dashboard, and then you're going to have this pricing plans over here on the left side. It's added as an app. You're going to click that. And then you're going to see manage plans. You guys are familiar with this. This is the first video we did where we created our plan, but you're also going to see purchased plans. So you're going to notice that no one has currently purchased that Ruby membership on this site yet, which means there's no active members. However, this purchased plans is your go to shop and stop for everyone that is a member of your website that has purchased a plan. Now, this is only people that have purchased plans. There is a separate place to manage members, contacts, clients, which is the Wix Ascend suite the contacts and CRM portion. That's where you'll manage all that. 
this purchase plans is only for people that have purchased membership plans to your site. And you can see the data you'll be able to see on them. Purchase date, plan holder name, plan name, valid until payment status, plan status. So unfortunately, because we don't have an active member, I can't literally show you um, with the click of the buttons what you have to do. However, I'm going to explain exactly what you have to do. So you're going to see a couple things. You're going to see valid until this is how long they have left of their membership, right? That's what that date will say or the timeline will say. Then it'll show payment status. Have they already paid for the month? Is it pending? What's happening with the payment status? Then you'll see plan status. This is where you'll have to manage and go in. You receive a cancellation form, you'll click plan status, and then you'll have to cancel their plan. And there will be a drop down that'll allow you to click cancel plan. And what'll happen is, let's just say that person is on a monthly plan and they were already charged for February, we'll say, right? They'll have access to their membership for that remaining month. But then in March, their plan is canceled. So they'll no longer have access in March. And that's on a 30 day running cycle. It's all dependent on how you set your payment terms up. So if people pay every week, that next week they'll be done. They won't have membership. If they pay every year, technically they'll have membership for the remainder of that year until the next billing sequence, in which case they will no longer have access to their membership. So I just want to make sure it's very clear how that works. And when you press that and you press plan status, it'll show that. And then if you want to check back in here under purchase plans, you can see on the pr next month, it'll say plan status, payment status, and it'll still have their data in there. It'll just say inactive um, as far as plan status and payment status will obviously be canceled too. So that's how that works. And that's how you are going to have to cancel memberships when people ask for it. Okay. So I just want to make sure that I was clear. And I really spelled that out because I know a lot of people have that whole same question regarding that because a lot of you have asked if there's any automated way to do it. I wish there was, and I wish people can just cancel it from their dashboard and be done with it. But at the same exact time, there is something to be said for having someone go through an actual cancellation process. The reason for that on the business side of things is number one, you can collect exactly why they're looking to cancel. You'll get that reasoning. And two, it does make it a little bit more difficult to cancel. So people might second guess the cancellation if they have to jump through an extra step or two. As funny as that sounds, People may actually second guess a cancellation if they have to jump through a couple more steps or if you wanted to make your cancellation process that they have to call you to cancel. That's another great way to do it. Um, I'm not saying I want you to start locking people in based off of fear or hard processes to not cancel. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying on the business side of things, there is some real psychological effect that happens when there's just more added steps to having to cancel something. You know it. You've been through it. We've all been there. If something's, you know, not that much every month and you're just like, yeah, I guess I kind of use this here or there. It's kind of a pain to cancel. Maybe you won't cancel right in that moment. Maybe you'll just like, ah, oh, this is a pain. I'll just cancel it when I can. And then you get to it six months later and you paid another six months worth of that membership. We've all been there. But I wanted to make sure I uh, clearly spelled this out for you. If you still have any questions regarding cancellations of payments and memberships for your membership website, comment in the description below. Ask me that question. Again, I want to cover every question you have on this paid membership series. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like below. Remember to comment. Do not forget if you are a freelance web designer developer to hit that link in the description below and join the new Facebook group I launched where we're building a community both here and abroad to share our tips, tricks, and strategies for growing your freelance web design and development business, either up to agency and running an agency or just becoming a bigger freelancer if you want to generate more clients. I'm going to show you how. I went from zero to $210,000 in revenue in my first year alone in my web development business. I want to show you that framework. I want to share that with you. So click that link, join the Facebook group, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn those bell notifications on so you never miss any content, especially this series, and you'll instantly join the largest Wix training community on the internet. An incredible group of people. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in our next one.